Alright everyone, we reached the last part of this tutorial. Um, we're going to do some basic texturing and lighting and put everything all together. So the first thing I'm going to do is rename this mesh and that will be the dispenser. And this mesh will be the refill. I'm going to right click, delete this mesh, right click, delete this mesh make this invisible, click and drag, bring things up, go to the quad view, A to fit, W to move this up, right there, okay, and click on the refill bottle, bring this up, move it out of the way a bit, Okay, let's see here in the perspective view. Yeah, something like that. And the last thing I want to do is I create like a, a floor here. So I'm going to go to right here. This is too primitive. And I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to click once and automatically it will add a plane in the items. So I'm going to press R. I'm going to scale this up, make sure it covers a lot of space here. Okay, I'm going to drop the tool, I'm going to rename this floor, and then I'm going to press M. I'm going to give a material that will be floor. I'm going to go to my perspective view here, select the dispenser, zoom in. Go to polygons, select these eight polys. Hold down the shift and keep pressing the up arrow on your keyboard. And select these polygons. Press M for material. Dispenser top. Go to select, invert. Press M for material, dispenser, body. Okay, let's go to the refill bottle and just press M. That will be the refill. Okay, now we're going to jump to the render tab. We're going to set our camera something like that here. And then we're going to go to the render tab. We are on the shader tree here. Click on the render. Global illumination. Enable global illumination. And the first thing you're going to notice is it takes all the scene, all the lights from the scene. So for envir environment type, it has by default the four color gradient. And we want to set this at constant. I'm going to use a light color tint of blue, click OK, and of all of, we're going to change also the direction of light, it's right now it's too strong, and for that I'm going to change the type, going to right click, and I'm going to choose area light. Now, area lights are very versatile lights, because you can increase the width and the height, and this way you're changing the intensity. So, select the light, press Y for the free transform, Increase the width and the height, and as you can see, the intensity. We're going to pull this out a bit. Going to rotate it. Now, the good thing about the area lights is that the larger the area, the softer the shadow is. Okay, okay. drop the tool. And let's work on the dispenser top. For that, I'm going to use a material here. And I went to materials, um, metal, steel. And I'm choosing this cast stainless steel. So I'm going to click and drag and put it right there in the material. And there you go. And 
and for the material itself I'm going to use 100% diffuse amount I'm going to check this and conserve energy which basically would take the lights from the scene and properly produce a surface for physical accuracy very small reflection amount of like say for 5% and I'm gonna go to the floor and for the floor I'm just gonna have 2% of reflection just a bit and then I'm gonna go to this is the refill bottle going to activate this and 100% here too but we're going to make sure we have conserve energy on there you go again it takes the lights from this scene and produces a more accurate physical accuracy as you can see here but we're going to have some reflection like 5% specularity is just down like 10% and let's not forget the label. So on polygons, oops, hold on the shift key and keep. Maybe we're going to need this one too. Let me try that. Okay. And this one. So let's press M for material. That will be refill label. Let's try that. I'm going to go to the images tab. I'm going to load an image. Then I'm going to go to the share tree here. And I'm going to add a layer. Image map. Load the the PNG file and let's see text locator projection type planar auto size and let's see what else it's got the material here okay this is exactly what I want I got the label okay so let's right click copy just do the same thing for the refill material so right click paste so both of them the same material and let me do a quick render all right uh, it's a tad too strong. Anyway, we're going to fix that. I also want the, the label to be able to show through uh, its transparency. So let's see what we did wrong here. This is the real fill. Maybe the lighting. Let's select the light. Press Y. Okay. The light was too close. Okay so back to the the label now let's do another quick render here all right uh, let's work on this okay so this is what I'm gonna do this one the um, is on diffuse color which is the color right now I want to make sure here that here says use it's using oh, it says alpha channel use it yes this is the color but what I want to do next is I want to go to right click here and duplicate this and I'm gonna make this a layer mask but for the layer mask now you can see what I'm talking about right here for the layer mask I'm going to use only alpha okay so let me do a quick render and see where we're standing now and because as I mentioned before we want to make sure that you have the shape you can see the shape of the label 
and so we want to get rid of this here all right so we're going to close the window here and i'm going to press this check this where it says invert and as you can see already i think it worked so um let's see again this is a png that i used and i use layer mask i use alpha only which creates a mask preventing the transparency from coming through allowing just the logo okay uh, another thing we can do is uh, we can close this for a second we can have a warmer light here in the scene so uh, let's see let's go to uh, the area light for the light material I can use a nice tint of blue there you go and the scene warms up a little bit okay so let's do a quick render and let's see where we stand I can tweak this even more but basically we did a nice uh, basic texturing and to uh, recap I personally went to the market and looked at some soap dispensers and refill bottles and that was my inspiration for this product scene now there are tons of these products out there and that can be your own inspiration or you, to, or you can just design one up yourself so practice with uh, similar techniques and come up with your own product scenes this concludes this lecture and thank you for watching